Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of How to Achieve Financial Peace with your host Mr. Afra. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad everyone is back. Welcome to another show where where I work to make sure everyone achieves your version of financial peace and to build generational wealth. Today's show is just going to be a wonderful show about debt what is debt uh, personal debt versus business debt and what is amortization schedule what is that what does that do um why you should know that so please uh, go ahead um share with others we also cover the stock market of the day question of the day article of the day quote of the day and i of the day like we always do in the in the in the show thank you everyone let's go ahead and jump right into our program for today we're going to be talking about debt what is debt well debt is owing someone money someone else money do you owe anybody else money could it be credit card you owe it to a credit card company that you borrowed do you owe it to a car loan did you take a car on loan uh you owe that debt uh did you take student loans do you have a mortgage that's a debt did you borrow money from family or friends that is also a debt personal debt are the ones i just discussed so your your personal loans uh, your credit cards your student loans your home mortgage your line of credits your medical debt they all show up and what's a distinguishing feature about your personal debt that will show up on your credit report when you go ahead and pull up your credit report all this debt show up there and that's how they do the calculation for the credit score so what's the difference between a personal debt and a business debt a uh, business debt is any debt you take on for your business so did you buy furniture for your business did you purchase computer um did you have a business credit card for your business do you have equipment you purchased and uh it comes under the business and and most of the time the difference between personal debt and business debt is your personal debt will show up on your credit card report and business debt will not most of the time so that's how you differentiate the business debt and uh your personal debt so should you should you have these debts around uh, is one better than the other um i will say obviously i say don't keep any personal debt so any consumer debt you shouldn't keep uh for business debt it just depends if you are getting an equipment that will make 10 times as much money as now then why not you know go ahead and purchase that machine and pay it off as soon as possible as soon as you get any money throw it at it get rid of that debt and then all the money you make is yours um do you need to purchase a vehicle for instance to get to places um go ahead finance it if you obviously i prefer you pay cash but if you can finance it and pay it off as soon as you can make a plan and just pay it off So what else can we do to improve and make sure we check in on all these debts that we carry is you want to check your credit report at least once a year and you can do that for free if you go to annualcreditreport.com um I will put it on the show note or the link you can just go there you put in information and it will give you your credit report from all the three uh reporting bureaus of uh credit they will they will pull all three reports and you can uh compare them and see if you have anything you didn't know or anything you missed or maybe you have something on your credit report that isn't yours and you can go ahead and and report that um so why do i recommend paying debt using the snowball method um i believe it will help eliminate your debt faster and will give you a boost every time one debt is paid off when you start from the smallest 
you can see your progress very quickly and it will, it will be it will give you like this extra energy to tackle all your debt and and that's why i prefer that snowball method another topic when we're talking about debt to talk about is amortization schedule so what is this amortization schedule uh, that we should know about this shows the payment due for the month like what payments are due for that month on a mortgage usually it's on a mortgage because of the length of time the breakdown it also shows the breakdown it also breaks down the amount to be paid and the principal amount that will apply to your loan you can see the principal or, or that will go towards your loan most of those payments at the beginning will go towards interest most of the payment when you take a big loan like a mortgage will go towards the interest and uh, most importantly it can show you it can show if you made an extra payments it will show how fast you can pay off the loan and how much you can save on interest payments to the bank remember you get charged interest and the first 10 years a lot of the money goes toward interest so if you pay close attention and you make extra payments you can knock off a lot of interest and save a lot of money so let's look at an ex example of amortization schedule let's say we buy a house i buy i buy i buy a house and it's a mortgage of three hundred thousand dollars and you sign a 30 year more uh, 30 year for to pay off and uh, interest rate is above five percent so if you go to if you go to bankrate.com, the link is going to be on the show note, and you go to the amortization calculator, you can calculate how long it will take. You put the, t the loan amount, 300000 The loan term is, is it 30 years? Yes, we put 30 years. Interest rate, we put 5%. And then loan start date is when you loan, you started making payments. So I put December of 2022. And then I... I, I let it do the calculation and it comes up with your my monthly payment will be $1,610 and $1,610 and the total interest that I would pay on this loan is $279,767 that's the interest not the amount you will pay towards your house, not the three hundred thousand. So your total cost of your loan is gonna be five hundred seventy nine thousand seven hundred sixty seven dollars. That's gonna be your total cost. So you can look at it. And that's your thirty years. So you have an interest of two hundred and almost eighty thousand dollars. So let's try to do it in fifteen years. When you set it up to do fifteen years. You will pay it off in 15 years and your total interest will be $127,000 and $29. And that's the first one, if you remember, was $280,000. So by making it, paying off in 15 years, you save about $150,000 you would save just for paying off in 15 years. And also, we can make it interesting. If you say you want to pay it off in five years, and you can make an extra payment of 3500 a month, you will pay, you will pay $38,000 in interest. And it will be a saving of 280 minus 40, $240,000 you will save on interest by paying off your mortgage in five years. So yeah, let me know. What do you think? Would you rather have a mortgage for 30 years and pay $280,000 to the bank? Or would you pay in five years and pay a lot less, about $240,000 less in interest? And on top of that, you have no mortgage on your home. It means you own your home and all the extra money that was going towards the mortgage. Now that money can be 
repurposed and go towards other financial goals. Let's go ahead and cover the stock market of today. We have the Dow Jones Industrial at $33,241. We have the S&P 500 at $3,829. We have the NASDAQ at $10,353. We have oil at $79. And we have gold at one thousand eight hundred and eleven we have let's look at crypto bitcoin is trading at sixteen thousand six hundred and seventy ethereum is trading at one thousand one hundred and ninety five dollars that is the stock market of today let's look at question of the day question of the day come from hassan from san diego he says I have a hundred thousand dollars worth of debt and feeling very overwhelmed. How can I pay off all this debt? Thank you very much for your question, Hassan. And uh, if you have any questions, preach at how to achieve financial peace at gmail.com and uh, send me your questions there and I'll be able to use it in the program. Um, the, the email will be on the, on the show note if you want to send me. Um, so he asks, about a hundred thousand worth of debt and very overwhelmed. Uh, Hassan, um, do you, um, first thing I would do is have a budget. Make sure every month, every end of the month, you do a budget for the next month and the next month. And that way, you know how much money is coming in, how much money is going out, where the money is going, where can we cut, can we find, um, other money that is just being misplaced if you can do that it will go a long way and also put a goal hundred thousand dollars seems a lot but if you break it down uh, every month if you pay a thousand dollars two thousand dollars it will go a long way for you to achieve paying off this debt so I'll go ahead and find a, a, a very realistic goal a smart goal where you put, I'm going to pay off $100,000 in 2027. That's about five years. And you say, I'm going to pay it off by December of 2027. And then you go ahead and do the calculation. You're going to, uh, it's going to take me, let's say, let's say $100,000 in five years. And let's look at how long it would take. You can just do a calculation on the calculator here quickly. One, two, two. In the calculator, a hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars. And then you divide it by five years. It will be twenty thousand dollars a year. And then divide it by every month, twelve months a year. You have $1,667 a month. So if you are able to do that, pay $1,667 a month, you pay off in five years. And um, if you want to challenge yourself, you can pay it off even less time. And also remember to do the snowball method. Uh, list your debt from the biggest to the smallest. Uh, pay the minimum on everything else. Attack the smallest one when that's paid off. Attack the next smallest one, pay that off. And then all the money that's left every month, add it together and to give you boost to pay off even faster. The article of the day comes from Business Insider and the title is A Mortgage Amortization Schedule Shows How Much You Pay Toward the Principal Versus Interest Each Month. The author in the article says amortization schedule will show you how much you pay each month towards your mortgage. So it will show you how much is going into the mortgage only. It doesn't show insurance or uh, taxes. It doesn't take that into calculation. It will also show you how much the principal is left after each month. So you can figure out after every month how much of the principal is left. The principal is actually the money that you borrowed. 
not the interest that the, the bank will charge you. It's how long that will take you. And then the author has an example of a $200,000 mortgage that he, they show on the article. You can look at that. It shows on a 30-year fixed and a 15-year fixed. And interest rate is 3.5%. And they show you there. They also show you what's the effect of if you make extra payments. So uh, it's a pretty interesting article. And it also covers our topic for today. So I'll suggest you go ahead and read that. I will put the link on the show note just to get more information on amortization. A quote of the day comes from Kurt Vonnegut, and he says, New knowledge is the most valuable commodity on earth. The more truth we have to work with, the wealthier we become. New knowledge is the most valuable commodity on earth. The more truth we have, to work with, the wealthier we become. By Kurt Vonnegut. And our ayah of the day comes from the Quran. And it says, Do they not see the birds controlled in the atmosphere of the sky? None holds them up except Allah. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who believe. Quran, Surah 16, Ayah 79. Do they not see the birds controlled in the atmosphere of the sky? None holds them up except Allah. Indeed, in that are signs for a people who believe. Thank you everyone. Uh, thank you for your support. Uh, please go ahead and send me questions, topics you would like to hear in the show, and also any feedback. I would like to hear your money story if you have tried the 12 steps to financial peace. Uh, if you want to tell us your story and I can share on the podcast. If you have any other financial stories or financial lessons you would like others to learn, please email me at howtoachievefinancialpeace at gmail.com. And don't worry, uh, if you can't remember it, just look at the show note and the email will be right there. You can just copy it into your email and you can send me an email. Salam everyone.